Welcome back, I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Gladius, and we will move on to doing the quest battle with the Ad Mech today. So let's take a look here, Adeptus Mechanicus. The Adeptus Mechanicus are an empire within the Imperium. With their own agenda, their own god, the Omnissiah, and their own fanatical purpose, the discovery of knowledge of technology. Though they supply the technical and scientific expertise of the Imperium, they also possess their own elite armies of biologically augmented soldiers. Xenos or man, stand in their way and they will annihilate you. So, Disciplines of the Machine God, initial challenge, hard. Yeah, that, well, maybe. Canticles of the Omnissiah, chant mechanical hymns, hymns to your, to enhance units, increasing their power with every praying warrior. Over, uh, Doctrina Imperatives, Overrides Skitari subroutines to amplify some combat aspects while reducing others. Hive cities place more buildings per tile by utilizing the Adeptus Mechanicus capacity to create layered construction of rockcrete and adamantium. I don't remember that. That's interesting. Monolithic buildings increased output of buildings of the same type on a tile, decreasing output of buildings of differing types on a tile. Okay, that's good to remember. Power surge increased the output of Buildings on a tile through forceful intensity and slave to the past increase research cost. The ability to truly innovate has long been lost, replaced with the reverence for the times when humanity was an architect of its own destiny. Reprogram Castilian robots. Capture enemy Castilian robots with cybernetica data smith reprogramming rituals. Bionics. Adeptus Mechanicus units have high damage resistances. Generally, artificial limbs are more durable than their biological counterparts. Agency and integration. Adeptus Mechanicus upgrades increase building output with each addition adjacent building. Knowledge is a principal thing, therefore get the knowledge. And in all you are getting, get understanding. The Omnissiah directs us to tread the path of wisdom. If anything blocks our way, be it creature, machine, or man, we must sacrifice them to the glory of the machine god and to the Imperium. You of the Adeptus Mechanicus, the cult of the machine god, have worshipped the Omnissiah long before the Imperium came to your world of Mars. Following his edict, you have never doubted or ceased to pursue your calling, to gather knowledge and to employ it, to gather more. In pursuit of that, you build the devices of the machines that enabled the Imperium to conquer the galaxy 10,000 years ago and maintain it today. So Gladius Prime was your planet more than it was the Imperium's. What Hive World was not. Its cities, its satellites, its wastes. All were built with Mars's technology. All answered only to the Adeptus Mechanicus, that is, to you. It is little effort to hide the Adeptus Mechanicus research into the Tyranids here and a facility deep beneath the ashen wastes. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Now, however, your facility has been compromised, your Skatari forces scattered, and your subjects have escaped. You must rebuild, recover, and take Gladius Prime's secrets for your own, for you have a mission to fulfill from the Omnissiah himself. All right, well, let's get our impossible difficulty win going here. All ten factions are included. Everything set at standard dip, uh, standard settings, except for wireweed, which is low, and the wildlife, which is high. So, let's get started. Gladius Prime. Adeptus Mechanicus first. What hive world was not? Its cities, its satellites, its wastes, all created with Mars's wisdom. All answering only to the Tech Priests. That is to you, Magos. It was little work to hide your research into the Tyranids here, deep beneath the Ashen Wastes. Disastrous though it was. But you have followed the Omnissiah's plans. And now is the time to finally execute on them. All right. 
grass. Come over here. Get that going. Put you there. What does this do again? It increases the output. Oh, interesting. What do we got here? Increases the armor, but decreases the movement. Increases the morale. Generates food or an influence. Skatari Rangers. Increases the output of power surge. Let's go with that, I guess. Chapter 1 Analysis Blessed Inception. You have fond memories of your days as a menial in the canyons of Mars <clears throat> and as a tech acolyte on Facundia. Desitator Cambrai Neon 7 was with you then, first as a fellow menial, then a bodyguard, now as your Skatari Marshal. He has shared your mission this last century. So when he confirmed that the execution protocols were finally approved and released, you eagerly began to initiating the early stages. The mission meant you had to be absent from your post, as Magos Benedict is quick to remind you. Absent when the Orc invasion began, absent when the Tyranids breached containment, absent when the Adeptus Mechanicus forces, including the prized Castilians, were scattered across the planet, absent as Gladius Prime once proud hive world was reduced to a wasteland with barely a billion souls squabbling in the ruins and with every xenos and heretic battling for the remaining wealth but you cannot explain to benedict you must treat your mission as if it came with the high lords of terra or the fabricator general indeed the astra militarum or adeptus astartes would not even support your studies of the tyranids and hence you must have be treated as hostile, let alone your ultimate plan. But before planning, one must survive, and to survive, Cambrai Neon 7 reminds you that we must build Mars anew here. <clears throat> Produce two Vanguard and get a generator. or influence. Alright, I guess that's where we're going to build it then. The Tech Priest Manufactorum is leagues ahead of its standard Imperial equivalent. Not only technologically, of course, the Cult of Mechanicus considers it more important to safeguard the technology they have in improving it is a Xenarite heresy that only Kral himself might consider. Instead, the building has superior rituals, unguents, chants, libations, and so forth. Let you heal there. Here, go to there. Thermal energy. Paradoxically slowing down the inputs to the thermal exchanger and feeding the plasma through a second set of heat couplings and condensers can, strength the, can stretch the length of time. It can operate beyond the nominal goals or at least reduce the amount of lives lost and repairs needed.
Alright, increase its population limit. Spend a little time healing. Let's get two of those going. It's hard to think of an alien race that might approve of a hive world's living conditions. Perhaps a subterranean herd. Yet to the Adeptus Mechanicus they are ideal. They seek to replicate their efficiency in their own housing units, cramming workers, servitors, and Skatari into living quarters so tight that violence would seem assured were it not for the behavioral engineered engineering and surgery. Too weak, fall out of there. Sub cloister. All right, good. Let's let you heal. Get a little bit more of that. <clears throat> Food or a sub cloister serves as a shelter and school for new tech priests. Here, promising acolytes from the planet's hive cities are trained in the many secrets of the cult mechanicus. Over time, if they survive, they find their calling emerging as lily engine seers, fanatical engine, electro priest, cybernetic datasmus, or any other myriad of non combat specializations. Increases building research. Output for each building and an adjacent tile. Yeah, that seems good. Alright, make it happen. Alright, you have taken the remaining Skatari retinue to a derelict hive city, which will be the foundation of your forge. You choose this location with a reason. At its heart, an ancient titan frame left here at the time of the planet's conquest. If resurrected, it would be unstoppable. You order the Benedict to oversee its renovation. Benedict Magos Genrotocrat Benedict Sacrados Q. Fadis To say their full name is a worry. You have suspected their loyalty ever since. You have suspected their loyalty ever since the rebellion on Unancia Four. Unancia Four, I think. There, in the moment of your triumph over the heretic cultics, cultists, they displayed something akin to emotion. You would have rid yourself of them, but they were, but their permissions match your own. Indeed, you suspect they somehow exceed them. Archmagos request production multiplication essential one manufactorum cybernetica priority two production line efficiency approval research that construct it research any tier three upgrade okay Uh, 
this. Another one of those things going. over here. The rediscovery of knowledge is a holy right. It, that supporting rights have been mandated throughout the hive as population density grows. The faithful constantly pour lib libations and imprecate the cities, integrated machine spirits to give up their secrets to the tech priests in the Librium Omnis. Population. course there is descent in the Imperium, but even in the Adeptus Mechanicus, hide, hide bound as it is, there is disagreement over the best path to follow, and this is all productive, useful discord. For were there not heretics, there would not be a requisit, 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 requisite human raw material to produce servitors and servo skulls. Oh, that's fucked up to set up as examples to the craven humanity as to what happens to those who stray from the Amasai's path. That's what I thought. Let's get that bad boy going. It says you're fully healed. Why are you not wanting to move up?
those though. They just don't want to leave me alone, do they? Actually, I feel like I should be using this. Confused whether The simple title of Artisan conceals the immense immensity of what these tech priests achieve, not personally of course, but through the vast labors of forces of mind wipe servitors. Here in the Constructorium this army of once men build once men build the buildings and tools that enable the tech priest efforts elsewhere. the armor penetration increases the resource outs but I guess I want that well I do but I want this too so get that going instead Kill. Just build me one more since you're ready. Terraforming is the ironically named process of making a planet more livable for humans, exactly unlike the devastating bulk of the Earth hidden beneath the continent's sprawling Imperial Palace. Man of War reforming has no such 
pretensions, turning a planet into an exploited, poisonous dot with incredible, productive cities just like home. Alright, so purple's over here. up. I want to know, does this do anything? Maybe it starts the following turn? I'm not quite sure. captured this stuff down here, so. like. Start getting this loyalty going. We're gonna need food. Inside the Hollow Forge world of Lucius is, tra is a trap sun, but to the Adeptus Mechanicus, that is less interesting than the planet specialization. A unique metal like Kingdom Lucium and Warp Travel Magi, Lucius encourage specialization in depth. Alright, I guess let's come up here. going. Increases the food output. Let's get that going. That'll be good.
there's somebody up there. Marvelous technologies for such a young race, but what would we have managed with 8,000 years of peace and prosperity if we dared to vary from the sacred truce of the machine god, of course? The reclaimers employ a small number of undercities population in an unsavory role. These Solian's acquisition teams are better known as body snatchers and they aggressively hunt out the dead or nearly dead, ensuring that any future rations always have very freshes. Soylene's proteins. Wow, uh, let's see here. Better reduce research costs because my research is abysmal. Are you kidding me? Can't believe you just dropped the base right on top of me. The Adeptus Arctus, we have faith, but we do not rest on it, rely on it, perform, pray, or perform miracles. We build our miracles, little sisters. We build knights, castle, and titans. Our rights ensure their correct functioning and our benedictions awake their machine spirit. And meanwhile, you built shrines, candelabra, and graveyards. You will never get to lie in them. For here, there are none. For there are none of you left to dig. take those out. Let's get the research going, I guess. Priests are more open to studying Xenos technology than others. Only Forge Worlds of Stiggy's Eight consistently escapes punishment of the for the Xenorite tendencies, tendencies, particularly because of their world's importance, partially because it cripples any attackers following their path, is certainly a fast way to speed up access to forbidden technologies. Get me that 
research, I guess. Yeah, I'm still several places away. So let's get these doom crawlers, I guess. Just to make sure he doesn't just kill you. Alright, Mr. Tao, I need to kill you. Nagar, Doom Callers, decimate the foes of the Skatari whilst channeling great swaths of the battlefield information to their masters high above. Squadrons of these versatile walkers clank to war in a long column that stalks forward in uncanny unison, clambering over shattered ruins and dawdling through toxic runoff without breaking stride. These enemies of the cult Mechanicus have good reason to fear the Doom Crawler. For these ornate monsters are protected by overlapping emetus force fields and bear some of the most esoteric and destructive tank portable weaponry the tech priest can devise. Alright. Get that first. Some tech, tech priests. That could be good. Want that and that. So there's lots of things that we want. Seems senior eyed tech priests from Stiggy's three or eight are he, are having their way on Gladius Prime two, setting up observation units and drones at every outpost to understand the Xenos better. The practical applications in terms of research are immediately obvious. Okay, just kill this damn thing because I hate those guys there. The cybernetica. Actually, we need more population. Give me that. And this. And we'll build that cybernetica here. for my objective. The protector imperative is codified to yield the maximum spectra of hard data. Extra power is fed into the narrow band optics and rangefinders connected directly to the Skatari's priority programming as holy warrior guns become the extensions themselves.
Space Marines are moving around. The Zealots of the Metallica are, are famed for bringing with them an ear-shattering clamor, redolent of their forge world's endless industry, and not for pausing in their relentless advance, obliterating their foes in mid-march. Infantry. Actually, we want to get that. Following new designs discovered by the Triplex Fall. During the construction of new structures, care is taken to explore any subterranean areas and map out potential ore veins with a uh, Hemotrope reactor, its plasma can be directed down these prepared routes for more efficient ex uh, extract, more to more efficiently ex extract the ore. Ugh. Mess that up. Alright, get that. Yeah, I could have had cataphrats by now. I see all this stuff work, looks good. Hmm. I see that's the problem. Need more people. That looks like there's no shortage of energy around here, so let's just get that, I guess. Keep the ore going. Gryan protocols. The integration of the Gryan protocols into the Skatari command circuits further enhances their already impressive survivability. The Forge world, Grenea, is known for its refusal to ever yield, given that their logic is simply irrefutable. Okay. Food or influence. Let's do that one actually. Alright, we're gonna run down and kill those guys. They keep punching around, and I should probably come out this way too. Here I'm sitting there standing off against a Tau City instead of making anything good. The Tau Mechanicus Priestoids venerate the Forge World of Voss Prime for its loyalty above all others. Its loyalty to the Imperium is second to none, even when Mars itself fell to the Dark Mechanicum Voss Prime, continued to churn out armaments and instrument, and was instrumental in the defeat of the Horus Heresy.
Sounds like there's a lot of battles going on around here. Despite the planet's specialization in plasma and shielding devices so common are orc invasions on the forward world of Ryza that the defenders are known for their orc-esque enthusiasm for melee combat. Wrath. Increases the armor of vehicles. Increases growth rate of city. Nope, I gotta get that first because I'm having trouble keeping my population up. Ugh, Space Marines. Stop creeping on me. Nothing must be wasted, not a drop of food, not a watt of energy, not a scrap of flesh. Executions are minimized in favor of servitor conversions, prompting an increased vigor in all other activities. Skulls for the skull throne is here. Bottomized to ensure unswerving faith. Catafran destroyers stray not home, not one iota from the path allocated to them, that of Holy Annihilator. The minds of these servants of the Omnissiah have been filled with thoughts of war alone. Their limbs have been excised to cast aside to make room for arcane weapons that jut like battering rams from their shoulders. These centroid cyborgs have been fashioned with more than brute force in mind, however, and each is a minor artillery piece in its own right. Blessed Inception. From the archopter height, the sprawling manufacturer please you. You can almost see the interlinked flow of materials from the height, with your data overlays reflecting the specialization that drives your economic surge. The Titan may still take to it's take a lifetime to renovate, but it is a good start. Alright, you gotta pull back. Alright, get that armor going. this research going. Oh, there 
Raiders. Castilians there. Alright, let's just pull back then. Now I don't have to worry about those guys, because I guess these guys cost food too, so it actually makes sense for me to want to kill them. As, Arc as the Arccopter brings you back, you look down on your new forge on the Bismalthers and the Mechanvils, Mech Anvils, on the Lobotomized Servitors, and on the property, properly chastised tools, on the Blessed Workers, lean and loyal in mind and body. You see that it is good. Cambrian 7 is still not by your side and echoes that thought. We do the Omnisaya's work, Magos. We have built, and now we must survive. Survival will be a challenge on this planet full of problems. You decide to solve those that might burden at first. That is, eliminate homogenizing groups before they have a chance to grow and become a threat. Activate Doctrina. Destroy the work camp. Destroy the Tyranid camp. Alright, those are up there. Which is fine. Hopefully the Tau can fight them a little bit. Living by the Eye of Terror after the fall, Kadia has transformed the Adeptus Mechanicus on Agripnia to defensive experts, particularly when it comes to keeping the machines running under fire. There's a range of you guys, too. Alright, I'm pretty sure those ruins are going to block the line of sight and protect you. going. Get that population going. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need energy. Energy. That's perfect. Planning, planning, planning. The Adeptus Mechanicus Magi design each city so it works as a functioning whole, each part supporting the next. Solar reflectors on all services direct a small amount of energy they capture through Gladys' prime storm systems to the nearest thermo exchanger shrine. heavy weapons, and then we're going to get a Crusader Knights here shortly. Alright, 
it's time to fight tower here. Range of three, range of three. Scorpion Ordnus increases the armor penetration of heavy weapons. The Ordnai or Nadi are a unique titan sized device, each built for a unique purpose and closely guarded. Your researchers have unearthed approved teachings taken from the creation of the Ordnus Oberon, a track mounted starship cannon employed during the Wars of Armageddon. Is the popul population sure? I'm not sure who just destroyed that. They're gonna kill you though. Totally fine though. I've got better guys now. <laughs> 